Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm so excited, I'm gonna show you around the 2021 Ibex 23 RLDS. This is a great trailer, sleeps five, and has plenty of off-road features on it. You know the best part is that everything is included. You don't have to go through that list of options to add and subtract what you want or don't want. They have all the great features included in one trailer. Now it's great for off-grid, it has an inverter, solar panel, uh, great ground clearance, off-road tires, and sleeps five. It's gonna cost you between 27, 28,000, somewhere in that range. 27 foot six inches long with the 5,100 pound dry weight. Now, if that's something that's interesting to you, then stay with me. I'm gonna go inside and show you the details. Let's go. Inside, first thing is this nice open living space. Across the back is a six foot sofa and kind of a narrow end table on both sides. Now the armrest has a cup holder in it, which is always nice. I think I would put my cup right up here on the counter, but hey, this is a nice, very comfortable sofa. I love kind of the square modern look of it. And so I, I think, this would be comfortable someone who is a lot taller than me. As most of you know, I'm only five foot tall, so you can kind of gauge uh, how the trailer would fit you since you're most likely a little taller. On both ends, you've got a little storage cubby here that goes all the way back and underneath a 120 volt plug. Great for sitting here working on your computer, anything like that, that you need. If you need a table to work and the sofa is more comfortable than the dinette, um, it would be very simple to set up a TV tray or a small table here. Plenty of space for that. Let's look up above. Now, right up here is your first controls. Right here on the right is gonna be your interior lights. I always like having a convenience light right when you walk in so that you can just hit that, turn on the overheads and not be in the dark. The porch light is next. The LED for the awning. You do have a power awning outside. It's 18 foot. Next to that is your slide room in and out. And of course the awning, extend and retract. Right up here, this little light on the right lights up your compartments. Two lights underneath. If you wanted to work on this sofa, that would be really nice to have that right above you. But the lighting in the cabinet is great as well because you can see what's in those cabinets. Now, although you have three doors, it is a cabinet all the way from here until the end of that third door. It is fully open. They aren't compartmentalized. I also like the indirect lighting that's in these cabinets because I'm not a big fan of the bright lights. So you could always use that just to light up the room in the evenings. Big window on the back with two side windows. Lots of windows right here in this living area make it feel very open. Now, all of these windows are going to have a pleated shade. Now, this is your blackout shade. So if you wanted the entire trailer to be dark, not a problem. Easy to simply pull down, push right back up. Now, before we move around to the dinette, I wanted to point out that you do have more storage right under here, underneath the sofa. It is a jackknife sofa. Lift up and just lays right down to make another sleeping area. And underneath, right here behind this, is a lockbox. Always great to have a lockbox. You use the key for your door to unlock this lockbox, and uh, very convenient to have that kind of hidden away, but a place to keep all your valuables. 
Right across from the door is the dinette. And this is a very comfortable dinette for four people. And it makes a bed as well. Just drop the table down, pull the cushions over, and you have another six foot bed. Underneath, storage on both sides and windows again on all three sides. It really is so nice to light up this living area when you're camping. And I love the, the tabletop. It is a, a molded tabletop, so you don't have any corners or any seams. And it's got that kind of weathered wood look. Uh, so it just gives it that outdoors feel. Very neutral colors in this living room. So regardless of what you like, if you like something neutral or you really love that bright pop of color, you could do either one in here. All right, light right above. And again, blackout shades all the way around. It just is a great feel in this space. Let's keep moving. Across from this is the kitchen. Now, remember I said that everything was standard the 15,000 BTU air conditioner right in the center of the living area is also standard. Now, this air conditioner is ducted, so it's gonna be really easy to air condition the living room and the bedroom, all controlled right here at the thermostat, just like your house. The kitchen has that same weathered wood look on the countertop, rolled corners, I love that feel, and you've got some cool features right here on the end of the cabinet two hooks, and a bottle opener. I mean, handy to have, right? But next to that, you'll find two USB ports for anything you'd like to plug in or uh, connect right here in your kitchen. And at the end is gonna be a switch that controls this light right here. Again, another indirect light source that really makes this feel very comfortable in here. Now you probably noticed the Bluetooth portable JBL speaker sitting here right on the kitchen counter. This can go with you absolutely anywhere. You don't have to rely on that stereo that's mounted into your camper with only inside and outside speakers. Take it with you hiking out on the picnic table, inside, wherever you want. I think that is a great feature with every Ibex. I also like the fact that it comes with a great storage case because when you're traveling, who wants to worry about damage to your speaker? Just pop it right in the case, throw it in the drawer, and you're ready for your next camping trip. Above me here is gonna be the 32 inch, 12 volt television. Of course, that's gonna be able to run off the batteries on your trailer, so it works anywhere. It can swivel towards the dinette or towards the sofa, so it's viewable wherever you're sitting. Big window in the kitchen here, again with the blackout shades. Fair amount of counter space right here. This sink is the 18 inch stainless steel, very deep. I would say it's 10 or 12 inches deep with the residential faucet, single handle. Just not only a really clean look, but easy to take care of and a nice working kitchen. This is the Suburban Elite stove. Glass top again can serve as a countertop Flip open and then flip up one more time. And three large burners here. The handles light up just a bit and the convection microwave right underneath. Below that is just the intake for the furnace because you have a 20,000 BTU ducted furnace in this unit controlled right here on the wall along with your air conditioner. Great, just like home. Vent hood with the light and the fan of course, but then we've got more storage up here. Three doors here. Now this is gonna be over 12 inches deep. Uh, tall boxes like cereal boxes are gonna fit beautifully and it runs the full length down there. It isn't divided. I love the modern look of the glass doors. More storage underneath. Let's take a look. Now you do have some ducting along the bottom these are two separate cabinets with panels in between, but really a lot of nice storage space here. There's the other one. They are both about the same size. A little spice inlet here with the light on it. And 110 plug right here on the front. 
Remember, you've got another one on the side as well. So lots of options for plugging things in the kitchen. Now, one of the things I really like about this layout is that all of the living room is in this open area, along with the sink and the countertop where you'd be doing your prep. And the things that you're hopefully not gonna to spend too much time standing in front of are in the hallway, which is the six cubic foot refrigerator here. Now this is a two-way refrigerator. Can you see the door there and all the inside? It is running on electric or propane. Very efficient. I love the stainless steel look on the front. Your converter is down below right here. And of course that's gonna have your breakers and fuses in it. So it's very accessible. And the carbon monoxide uh, LP detector here. So this is the road vac that just it makes cleaning your camper so easy. Just sweep up the floor. When you lift it with your foot, it sucks it up and it's gone. At the end, you can clean your bag right in here just like you would a standard vacuum cleaner. Now there are attachments that you can add in here if you'd like to have a separate hose for any reason. However, uh, they are purchased separately. They don't come with the trailer. Above that, is the pantry. Now again, having the refrigerator and the pantry in the hallway makes a lot of sense to me because you're not gonna be standing here a lot. Uh, you get what you need out of the refrigerator and the pantry and the actual workspace is in the open area. You do have three very large cubbies here. So if you wanted to use some of this for other things like clothing, you certainly could kind of mix and match these storage spaces. They're about two feet deep and maybe 18 inches square. Lots of great space in here. Now granted, this bathroom doesn't have a lot of dancing room, but they have fit everything that you need in this space. Right back here, the countertop extends to the right. So really you've got some extra space there, which is always nice in the bathroom. Storage right underneath and storage under the sink. You have to work around the drain pipe, but still gives you space to put what you need. Above, medicine cabinet with two shelves and then of course a little space underneath. There is a fantastic fan on the roof for venting. It's gonna be the high powered fan, so that could actually move air throughout the trailer. There, the door doesn't close all the way at the top, so it's gonna pull air from throughout. Uh, the shower. Now the trailer height is six foot 10. Uh, in the shower, you've still got about six foot four inches, even if you have to step up here at the bottom. It's still really a fairly comfortable size with the built-in shelves on the side for all the toiletries that you wanna keep in there. Um, on this back wall, as you walk in to the right, is a whole lot of the switches that you might need, especially if you're coming into the bathroom. Uh, you have three tank switches here for the fresh gray and black. Now this trailer has a 40 gallon fresh, 40 gray, 30 black, but not only does it have heated and enclosed underbelly to keep those tanks warm when you're running the furnace, but it also has electric tank heaters. So if you are not uh, actually camping, you're just traveling and it gets really cold, you'll want to turn on those tank heaters. Those switches are right here uh, on the wall next to the light switch and below your monitor system that will tell you not only the voltage in your battery, but it will tell you the gray, black, and your freshwater levels. Underneath, the solar controller, so you can actually check how those solar panels are gonna be charging your batteries. Uh, solar panels on the roof, Come standard with one 190 watt solar panel, but if you'd like, you could add more at the dealership. Now coming into the bedroom, there is a sliding door with a snap that can hold it open when you're traveling, of course, so it's not moving around. There you go. And let's come in and take a look at the space. Now this is a nice walk around space. I would say this is probably almost two feet, which is quite a bit. It feels very open in here. 
This is a true queen, 60 by 80, just like you would have in your house. Windows on three sides. Now the front one doesn't open, but this sides do, so you can get great airflow and a vent at the top. It doesn't have the fan in it, but of course your dealership could make any change that you wanted. The, the actual cutout size is exactly the same. All right, up here at the front, the wardrobe, which is also lighted, has a hanging bar at the top, but you could easily put shelves in here if that suited you better. Underneath, a drawer. And it does give you a little bit of space right here for a countertop if you needed that. Now in front of this, you will find not only a 120 volt plug, but the switch for turning on the inverter because the inverter is in your pass through right up front. Now that 1000 watt inverter is gonna allow you to run some of the small appliances off those 120 household plugs while using your battery for power. All right. Now, up above, you've got a little more storage here. I love the way it's lighted. That indirect lighting really makes a difference when you're camping. And of course, all these lights are LED, so they use very little power and they're running directly off the battery. This space is open all the way across. It is curved on the front, so it isn't a full rectangle. Um, it's a little high for me to see in, but it's gonna be about 15 inches deep and Really, it's amazing the amount of clothes or gear you can carry in those upper cabinets. Also, since it is a curved front, there is a space in front of these cabinets. Now in front of the hanging cabinets is an open space right there that's really a nice size. You could look at putting shelves there or maybe using it just to stack extra clothing, extra gear. Just another little cubby that you can use. On the side of this cabinet, this is gonna be the switch for the lights inside the surround cabinets and USBs on both sides. There is a nice finished space under here. This is very easy to lift up. Uh, so it would be a nice accessible space to use even if you got in there every day to get clothes or shoes. All right, goes down really easily. What a great space in the bedroom and in the living room. So more stuff to look at on the outside. Let's go. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is the steps. I really like sturdy steps that are really easy to take in and put out. These are one piece steps. They simply lift up and clip into place. Very easy. Now, when you wanna pull them down, you just unclip them and they lay right back down. They do have some adjustable feet on the bottom if you're on some terrain that maybe drops right here. So you can always have solid entry and the swing away handle makes it even easier. The bush kitchen on this trailer is great. It has the table that goes onto the rail up here and uh, the griddle that attaches as well right next to it. Now, along with that, you have the gas port underneath to connect the griddle, of course, and the outside spray port. And I just kind of hooked it on this little bar, but it's great for washing dishes, uh, just anything you need to do outside. All of that included in what they call the bush kitchen. The off-road tires are standard with the aluminum wheels and right back here, the six gallon water heater. Underneath, I wanna show you, that's where the low point drains are. And you can also get a feel for the heated and enclosed underbelly that is gonna keep those tanks warm when you're camping so they don't freeze. The pass-through in the front of this trailer has the magnetic catch, always nice. And it does go all the way through. And remember inside, I mentioned the inverter. And that 1000 watt inverter is right there in the center. Now the two crank handles are included here for the stabilizer jacks and one for the override on the electric jack in case your battery dies. You've always got a way to raise and lower that. 
The diamond plate front here works as a great rock guard on the front of this trailer. It's got a nice curve to it. Frameless windows just give it a really clean, sleek look. And frameless windows are really great because over time, they don't loosen up the way a framed window would. Uh, so they're great for longevity of a trailer. You do have the electric jack on the front. Right behind that, two 20-pound propane tanks and room enough for two batteries. Now, speaking of batteries, um, of course, batteries are always added at the dealership. They don't come from the manufacturer normally. And it's important to note here that you can put lithium on this trailer. The lithium ion batteries are gonna give you uh, just a lot more longevity as far as the power they can hold. They're gonna charge a little bit faster, but you do have a converter that will work with them. And that's always a concern. So if you want lithium, ask your dealer. That's something that's easily done on this trailer. The battery disconnect is right behind that as well. So easy access to that. As you come around to this side, let's just take a quick look at the other side of that storage. Again, goes all the way through, easy access on both sides. City water connection is right here in case you're hooking up to the hydrant, but if you wanna fill that 40 gallon fresh water tank, it's just above it. Now there is a fresh water drain right below here. So if you wanted to drain that fresh tank, easy to do, very accessible. Now right here is the wastewater and the gray water tank. So let's take a look. You have one connection right there and your poles are underneath up here. So they're underneath the actual framing of the trailer. So they're not gonna get caught on anything. That's really important. And the valves are actually inside the heated and enclosed underbelly. So you're not gonna have any problem dumping if it's frozen. You know, there are some trailers that they'll heat and enclose the underbelly, but then if you can't open the valve because it's frozen, that's a problem. So great feature for going off grid, being in extreme weather, they've got you covered. Black tank flush right above for cleaning out that black tank. It is a 30 gallon black tank, just hook up the sewer hose right here and it's gonna help you keep it nice and clean. Now it's important to note that this is an aluminum frame trailer. It has Asdell on the outside. If you're not familiar with Asdell, that's the product that's really impervious to water. And what does that mean to you? It doesn't swell, you don't get delamination. It is very durable. The roof on the Ibex trailers is 15 year warranty. It's PVC. So that's gonna give you a really long life with this unit. Great ladder on the back for all of them. LED lights, four inch bumper, and spare tire, full size, mounted right on the back. Up at the top, you can see that they actually have pre-wired for a backup camera. The backup camera doesn't come with it, but again, easily added at the dealership. All right, now that brings us back around. The only thing we haven't talked about is the 18 foot awning on the roof. There is a nice LED strip on it, which you can see, but when that awning is out, what a great space to hang out in. So, you know, this Ibex can take you anywhere you wanna go. And I am so excited to get to show it to you. If you would like to see some of the videos that we put out every week, you might wanna subscribe and we'd love to see you next time. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.